What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just gonna break bad. Yo, we just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Who's out there spending $800, $900 for a GPS? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I need to know that. I need to know who is spending $900 for a GPS, man. I, <laughs> that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Do you really, really need to spend $900 for a tablet-sized GPS that takes up about 35% of, of real estate on your windshield? Now, I know a lot of you guys don't put that type of size GPS on the windshield. You know, y'all probably might have, like, other spaces in the truck that you can put that on, but $900? I mean, I was at the Loves the other day, and the Garmin Diesel, I think it was, like, 10-inch, 12-inch, or whatever it is, that bad boy said, $899. Now, I know if you save up your loves points for, you know, for like a couple of years or something like that, you can you you can generate about $1,000 in points. I know I, I did at one point. I did at one point. I, I saved all of my love shower points for like two years when I was with U.S. Express. And at the end of the second year, I was about maybe $998 in, but man, I, you know, if that's something that you want, because that is definitely a, a $900 GPS is definitely not something that you need. Considering the fact that there's much more inexpensive GPSs out there. Come on now. Come on, now, let's gather together. Let's, let's gather around and listen. Do you need a $900 GPS? Now, I know a lot of us truck drivers out here making money hand over foot, and a lot of you guys is making, you know, about $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 a week. And if you're saving your money right, then, yeah, that's a GPS that you want. That would, pay, that would take up about 35% of the real estate on your windshield. Now, hopefully, that type of real estate on your windshield don't get you in trouble with DOT because sometimes if it's, if, if it's in the travel of the windshield wiper, then that might be a problem. But if you put it like in the middle or maybe down or somewhere on the on the dashboard itself, part might not be not a problem. But come on, $900, man. Guys, truck drivers, let me know in the comments below. Is a $900 GPS is something that you need? I need to know that because there's, there's, much, better, there's much better alternatives out there. Like I got the Garmin Diesel 7-inch. Uh, that is enough for me to see where I'm going, enough where I could put the information in, and enough to see, you know, what's, what's going on. Now, I do have a tablet. I do have a tablet. It is a 10-inch, 12-inch, but that's a tablet, though. And I use that for Google Maps. You know, I'm able to zoom down with the satellite view and all like that. But, you know, and, and, to, and to be honest with you, my tablet was only seven, was, was $700, but it was free with the, with, with the thing years ago. And I still got it. Same tablet. Do the same thing. Now, if you really want something that you know that that's like that then i would suggest to get the tablet get a tablet because you can do more with the tablet than you can do with a nine hundred dollar gps 
with a tablet, you you able to, you know, do routes on a tablet. You're able to zoom down in, sa in satellite view to see where you're going. You can see the entrance, the exits, and all like that. You're able to download other truck. Well, I ain't going to say truck specific, but you're able to download other trucking apps, routing apps that'll help you along the way. You can't do that on a $900 GPS. A nine, to me, a $900 GPS is something that you want. It's not something that you need. You can get a five inch truck specific GPS for like $299, bro. You don't need all that. You don't need all that real estate. You don't need all that real estate. Now, if the company pay for it, then get, go, by all means, go get it. Go get it. Like, let's say, for example, if the company gives you like a credit, like, uh, you know, like anonymous, she got like a three hundred dollar credit for, you know, towards her GPS. And I think she got one that costed like five hundred dollars. So she only paid two hundred. Yeah, there you go. That right. If your company helps you and, you know, helps you get your GPS by chopping some money off of it, then yeah, I, I get it. But still, even at $900, $300, it's still going to bring it down to six. $600 is still too much for a GPS. It's still too much for it. It is. I mean, if you're paying six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars $900, man, you need to be slapped. I'm sorry, I need to come over this. I need to come over YouTube and slap you. I need to, I need to slap you now. You need to get slapped back to life, back to reality. Come on now. Come on now. $900 is a GPS that you want. It's not worth spending $900 for a GPS that all you need to just spend two times less than that for the same GPS that it give you the same information. It's just in a smaller package. Now, if you're going to spend, listen now, if you're going to spend $900 for a GPS, take that $900 and invest in a, in a tablet. Now, that $900, you're not going to spend that much for the tablet, maybe about $700. That'll still leave you with $300 to get you a, a, a nice 7-inch truck-specific Garmin GPS. You you have both of them. The, the you have a GPS and a tablet for nine hundred dollars. You can't go wrong with that. You cannot go wrong with that. And even with the tablet, you can get your tablet with its own, uh, with its own data service you have a tablet with your own data service and you have a gps that's 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 dedicated you have a gps that's dedicated so in case of the data service go out the gps will still get you to where you need to be <laughs> 900 dollars for 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 a gps is too much man take it from me now, if that's something that you want, go get it. But for like you new drivers out here, you rookie drivers out here, y'all, y'all, y'all ask what is the best GPS out here and all like that. There's, there's not a best GPS. They're both of them. Ram McNally and Garmin is the same. It's just have a different UI. That's all. Some people, some people fuck with Garmin. Some people fuck with. Ram and Nally. Me, I fuck with both of them. So there you have it. There it is, truckers, drivers. Let me know in the comments below. Is $900 too much for a GPS? Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G and yeah, I'll make a sound.
you, Mr. Cream. 